Hey man, I'm still eating. This, this, I'm putting this as the first clip, but this is after I done filmed the whole thing. But hey, y'all remember last time y'all was talking about me how I'm, I was eating that uh, Chick fil A sandwich on my last mukbang? Please don't talk about me how I'm eating these wings. Y'all wanna get in the middle? Okay. I'll start. You too, you too, I told them. There it is. <laughs> Take control my drip. Sauce I long. Who gon' clean this shit? Sauce I long. I saw my nigga. I saw my bitch. Sauce I long. I got the drip. I got the drip. Sauce I long. Sauce I long. Man. YouTube, YouTube, October uh, gang. I'm back at the beginning of the video, man. Today, bro, doing a mukbang, man. Um, got some spicy hot, some spicy and hot hot wings right here. The wings, whatever you want to call them. They smell delicious right now. I can't wait to dig in. But besides that, bro, this how this video came about. So I had me and Facetime. I was on Facetime with Drippin' Matt. Shout out to my boy Drippin' Matt for this uh video idea, but. I was on I was on FaceTime with him and we were just going over like how we gonna how we plan to improve our channels and this and that, this and that. So basically what happened was he was like, um, you get you just got some wings, right? Cause I was gonna go heat my wings up. He was like, Yeah, do a mukbang. I was like, Bet. I was like, um, what to do when I'm eating, what to talk about. He was like, basically talk about <laughs> he said, talk about why you and your exes broke up. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna be explaining why me and my exes broke up. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get through it. You know what I'm saying? And um, just stick with me. So let's get straight to it. Um, so we ain't gonna start off too. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna start off too strong. I'm gonna start off light. Off with probably, I'm gonna start off with my first love. I'm gonna start off with my first love. If y'all don't know who my first love is, my first love with Kiana. And um, basically, I was going with her back in seventh grade. And I think this was the summer going into eighth grade year. And we had broke up like during the summertime. So basically, what had happened was like she had told me that I was getting ready to move. And she had told me, basically, she told me to wait. She told me, let's not break up yet until we officially move. But me being so big-headed, I had went ahead and broke up with her. Then it turns out, I regretted it because they didn't move. Yeah, but everybody makes mistakes, though, so. But I did regret breaking up with her. You know what I'm saying? I just regretted it, bro. But, um... Take a bite at this wing. <laughs> anyway, so. So yeah, like I was saying, I broke up with her. I regretted it. Tried to get back with her after. She wasn't going for it. She was like, I told you to wait, this and that, this and that. So yeah, that's why we had broke up. On to the next one, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me see, let me think, let me think. I ain't really just been in a relationships, like a serious relationship. I only got like two or three just serious relationships, but that's besides the point. That's a whole other video. Anyway, on to the next ex. I'm gonna start working my way up the ladder. I know y'all wanna hear this one, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do to live, bro. 
So basically, me and Talia, we had a strong connection off top, you know what I'm saying? I liked her, she liked me. And she, everything was going good until about This was, I started, we started going together near, almost near the end of the eighth grade year. So, we was together all going to high school, summer, all this and that. So then, we was about a good eight and a half months in. So, I um, <laughs> this, this video here gonna be tough, but I had, um, I told her I was like, um, when we get to high school, it's gonna be different challenges we're gonna face in the relationship, this and that. Like everybody say, you know what I'm saying? High school is a whole different ball game. You're gonna see many different people that you want or like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, if I was really interrupted by a phone call. Um, yeah, when you get to high school, it's a whole different ball game. You might see people that you like, you know what I'm saying? You want. Just a whole different ball game. So, excuse me. So, I, um, we get there. The first month was great, you know what I'm saying? The first month had both of us head boosted. So we feel like we were ready to be like in high school together. So I ain't gonna lie to you. Your boy did start to get a little, you know what I'm saying, friendly, you know what I'm saying? I did, like, I was like the other females in my life. That wasn't the best decision now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That wasn't the best decision. But listen here. It was just. You know what I'm saying? I looked at. At the time, I looked at that person as nothing but a friend. You know what I'm saying? But, um. Yeah, your boy got friendly. Then, things went left. So, we were nine. I remember the day. The day we broke up, we was nine months. And. 31 days. The next day would have made 10 months. So, um, I think I, oh yeah, I had, I was, I came back from out to eat in the movies with a friend. <laughs> and that night, we broke up. So, that night, um, I think I was just overwhelmed at what happened. And I had kind of got the big head with the person that I was that, that I went to the movies with. And we take her on that night and I was, she was like, she said something. Um, oh yeah, she said, I can't trust you, stuff like this, this and that, this and that. We were basically arguing. So then I was like, if you can't trust me, this and that, this and that, we can't go together no more. And she said, that's my what it had to be then. So, broke up, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of an agreement of a breakup, so it wasn't like, uh, he broke up with you, or she broke up with you, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, but, this the last one right here, man, and I'm gonna wrap it up, I ain't done my wings yet, but I'm finna go on digging this one. Believe when you so good, where? Well, that's basically what I love. Yeah. You know who my first love was? Huh. My mama. Straight like that. And they just, I was talking. See, you know, I know. I, you know, I know. I, what? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? What? I know. And this girl, but nowhere near at least, you know what I'm saying? Caitlin, you know what I'm saying? So. This story, my man Kaylin really never just went out, but it was kind of 50 50. I don't know how to really just explain it. But anyway. After me and Talia broke up, 
this was this was probably 20 I give 15 15 days after me and me and Taylor broke up. Me and Kayla start chatting or whatever. She liked me, so I um we started talking or whatever. So all these stories make me look bad, but <laughs> anyway, we started talking. And Kayla, Kayla was a real cool person, you know what I'm saying? She was a fun person to be around, fun person to joke with, you can you can But damn, I'm trying to think where to start it. Okay, so basically. Kevin was a cool person, this and that, but she had one flaw that, like, it didn't just sit with me too well. And I guess y'all could say this karma, but Kaylin was friendly to me. She was just, like, friendly, like, you know, greeting, talking to everybody, um, being in people's face, speaking to others. I ain't gonna go into details, but, yeah, she was just friendly, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't like that too strong. I, I like a female that's gonna be like, I got a boyfriend, and if my boyfriend see me talking to you, then hey, he gonna be mad. And that's exactly what Talia was. But, we ain't gonna speak on that. Anyway, so Caitlin, she, um, I told her, I talked to her a good couple, I talked to her a couple times about it. And after a while, I just didn't wanna put it up with it no more. Cause it never stopped, like it was continuous. And she told me, if you give me a reason to stop being friendly, then I stop being friendly. So we went out. We went out for about a day or a couple of hours. I give it about 22, 23 hours. It might've been a day, who knows? Anyway. She, um, we started going out. When I seen her, one day in the hallway, talking to somebody. And she was still hugging people. It wasn't just like, it wasn't no, ah, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, but it was like a church hug, like a side hug. So me being Octo, I um I got upset at that. Um, um I told her I was like, hey, I don't wanna I think I told her I made a mistake asking you out. Cause I think I said I'm not ready yet or something like that. Some some some. So then we stopped we stopped talking. And I started talking to another girl. But that's besides the point. Then we started we started to pick it back up. After a while we started to pick it back up, you know what I'm saying? And um I will admit I messed up, you know what I'm saying? I messed up. I should have cuffed and stayed cuffed. But I had this was right before Thanksgiving break. We had started to pick it back up and we were finna get right back, you know what I'm saying, tight. What's up, to Hold on, I'm gonna let y'all get back to the video, but I just wanna know, as I'm editing this, what was I looking at? And I had, um, fooled around and met somebody at the mall. That was the biggest mistake I made in my life. And then, <laughs> I took, I had recorded myself with a girl and posted it. That was another big mistake I made in my life. Then, Kaylin was just like, forget this, I'm not finna continue to pull up with Michael Mess no more. And she did the dash. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we ever just gonna get back like this here or not. But yeah, that will happen. But that's how me and Kaylin stopped talking or broke up, however you wanna say it. 
Yeah, man. I only ate three wings. I had six. I had six wings to eat, and I only ate three during this video because I got to do a lot of talking. So. Now, these people that I just did, they will always have a special place in my heart because I learned from each and every one of them. Like, every relationship, I learned something different. And how to move on and do better. Right now, I'm just a free agent. Like, I'm just out here. At this point right now, I don't think I talk to nobody. God bless you. Thank you. But I don't think I talk to nobody. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so. Basically, this is my mukbang. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all want another mukbang, especially one like this, because this one was pretty juicy. Yeah, juicy. <laughs> I enjoy recording it, though. Uh, like I said, thanks again to Juvie Matt for the video idea. Um, make sure y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to him, most definitely, my boy. Um, trying to get his channel back right. I'm trying to get my channel right too. Uh, let's go ahead and hit these 500 subs, man. That's what I'm waiting on. We have 438. We almost there, you know what I'm saying? We got to keep grinding, keep working. I'm going to grind. I'm going to work. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all do me a favor and show the love back, you know what I'm saying? And when you subscribe, go tell a friend to subscribe, you know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing to it but to hit one button. You like a couple videos while you hit it. But, yeah, man. I love y'all. I'm going to keep working. Um, I hope y'all like this video because I enjoy making it. I ain't going to lie to you. I enjoy making it. Um, thanks again to my boy, Drew Matt, and I'm out.